Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at the DAX function sum x. The sum x function. So here's our scenario. What we want to do is work out total profit on this database of transactions. Now, in this table, we have a record of each sale. We know what we've sold and we know the quantity. Over in the product table, we have a related table here that basically tells us the uh, the cost, the retail price, and the profit on the sale of each of these products. So we're going to have to use both tables in order to do this. Now, we're going to look at various different ways of doing this. First of all, we're going to create a little calculated column. And we're going to call it uh, profit on transaction and very simply what we would do here is we're obviously going to say equals quantity times and we need to find the related row I'm typing up here in the uh, formula bar we need to find the related row in the product table so I go to the product table um, and I'm picking out the profit column. Close the bracket, press enter. And there it does that. It just goes through and pulls out the profit for each of these transactions. I'm going to do a little bit of formatting. And it's done that quite nicely for me. But if I wanted like a total profit, um, I'd have to create a little measure for myself. So, for example, down here I might say equals sum and then just specify this column that I want to add up. It gives me a calculated field. Let's give it a proper name. So, total profit. And then I could do my little bit of formatting. And there we are. I've got that figure there as my total profit. But that's kind of two steps now. Um, it's done all those calculations for me. It's holding all those calculations in memory for me, which may be useful. Um, but I've had to do a separate measure to actually do the totaling. Now, what we can do is use a function called sumx, um, which will exist as a measure that will actually uh, mean that we don't have to do this calculated column at all. We just have it as a measure that we could then use as a calculated field within our pivot table and it will only do these calculations where it's actually needed within the pivot table rather than holding all this information in memory. So um, what we're going to do is actually take this little expression that we've already created and I'm just going to copy it. So that's on my clipboard. We're going to need that any minute now. So I'm going to call this I'm actually going to get rid of this one entirely. No, I'll leave it there so we can do a comparison. So we'll call this total profit 2 uh, colon to mark the end of the name uh, equals. And then we're using the sum x function. So what we're doing is we have to uh, tell it which table we're adding up in. So that will be our sales table. And then the expression is what we used earlier on, um, exactly the same. But what it's going to do is it's just going to perform that one calculation down here to come up with that exact same value. If I press enter, there we are. If I format it, you'll see it's the exact same value. So actually, I can get rid of that. We've done that anyway. And I might just rename this total profit. And I can also get rid of this. Just means that most, not so much will be stored in memory now. So how can I actually use that? Well, if I go to creating a pivot table, put it on a new worksheet. So now I might say, well, let's split up the profit by region. So I just want to know it by region. I go down to my sales table. There's my total profit. I put it in values. 
So now it only has to do the calculation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm only doing the calculation where I actually need to, rather than holding all those calculations back in the Power Pivot add-in in memory. Okay, so that's a useful application for the sum x function enables you to do summing up based on an expression that you might have used in a calculated column. Okay, it's Chester Tuggle at Blue PKN Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.